But not every team made the finals, and in any case, the big games at the MCG were merely the culmination of a season's footy. Hey, Mark! Well, do you want to go this one here or go through the There were six matches on Saturday, and you went where your team went to watch them play. For many supporters, the suburban grounds represented the true heartland of Victorian footy. Journeys into enemy territory, to Victoria Park or Brunswick Street, to the Junction Oval or Windy Hill, were as much a part of football culture as the games themselves. These grounds were often muddy, sometimes for weeks on end. Can they be Collingwood fans? Yep. Time on Brown, well, any any moment, I would say. Giants kick but the similarities of the grounds were less noticeable than their differences. Glen Ferry had its trains. Arden Street had the gasometer. At Punt Road, the spectators always seem to be pressing in on the tiny ground with its strange off-centre goalposts. Here we are. Richmond for winners, 11 goals, 17. In the 1960s, the introduction of new lightweight camera gear enabled Melbourne-based filmmakers like Rod Kinnear to capture in sharp detail crowd rituals at these suburban grounds. And the availability of more portable sound equipment meant that for the first time, the lively contribution of the individual barrica could also be recorded. All footy fans can relate to the anguish of the miss from point blank range. The indignation generated by the crude or unfair tackle. Or the sheer joy of witnessing the star full forward do his stuff. 